I'm done with this shit. Well? I can't do it, man. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! Yep. Unfortunately, I forgot my heart rate monitor. As you can see, I'm really disappointed about that. Um, it's 90, right now it's 93 degrees. So I was hoping to see a new max heart rate because heat really ramps your heart rate up. Um, so a little disappointed in that, but it's a 45 minute drive here, so I'm not going back to get it. Anyways, um, definitely feel like this record is getting really hard, like it's not soft anymore. Not that it really has been soft for a while, but it's becoming like extremely condition dependent. And so I kind of have had to wait and see what the right conditions are. And so I definitely think um, doing an analysis of all the times I've attempted, as well as Sam Long's attempt, um, winds coming out of the south is pretty well a must and the hotter the better because of the rolling resistance and the air density is a bit less so so we got 93 degrees right now getting warmer and winds are light out of the southwest so i'm hoping maybe get a little bit of a push i feel pretty good today i feel i feel motivated i feel i feel like i can do it i feel like i can take it <clears throat> I mean, I feel like I already took it, quite frankly, but... So I came here, I don't know, two weeks ago to do it. And uh, I took the, the Mount Lemon, KOM, Mount Lemon Official, it's called. And uh, in my mind, that's the Mount Lemon climb, and I took that by like 15, 16 seconds. But then immediately, Sam goes on to Instagram or whatever, and... Uh, says, oh, sorry about your luck, you missed it by five seconds. And it's some stupid KO, in my opinion, it's not even, like anyone who's here knows that the KOM doesn't start at a stop sign one mile before Mount Lemon, but that's my opinion. So, anyways, um, you, poke the, you poke the animal, the animal gets pissed off, and so here I am pissed off, and uh, I'm gonna take that one from the stupid stop sign one mile before as well.
Right here, I got it. Beat it by a minute, over a minute. All right, so I've had a bit of time to calm down. The adrenaline uh, has dissipated. The uh, blood has flown back from my quads into my head. So I apologize for that, for the cliffhanger ending. Um, but we're hurting for content. Uh, and as well, I don't know what's gonna make this video, so I'll also apologize for um, perhaps the barrage of vulgarities. <clears throat> I don't know about you, but for me, when I'm chocked full of adrenaline and uh, all 97% of my blood flow is going into my quadriceps, my vocabulary gets reduced to about five words, of which most of them are vulgarities. Uh, so, I apologize for that. So, to the data, Talbot's not letting me upload this until I guess the video comes out. Um, so it's not official, but I found out you can put your activities to private, and so it doesn't auto-upload, so I, I do know that I took it. So, um, here it is. <clears throat> Sam Long, one, this is the, this is that one I said, uh, from the stop sign that I thought was dumb, but I probably mainly thought it was dumb because I didn't take it, so I apologize once again. Uh, Sam had it 115.40, <clears throat> average power 387 watts, and the average temperature, at least according to the, to the, uh, the Wahoo Bolt, was 93 degrees. I don't know how accurate that is, probably because it's heating up because it's in the sunlight. But when I left, it was 93 degrees when I, when I, when I departed from <clears throat> the parking lot, uh, you know, five miles from the start. So, I mean, that's a huge, huge effort at that temperature. And so for me, I don't know how much better I can do um, ever because if you think about this, 387 watts at let's call it an average temperature of even 85 degrees. Um, if you account for the fact that it starts at 2,500 feet and goes up to 8,000 whatever, I mean, <clears throat> if you look at the charts for reduction in FTP as you go higher, you're starting at a 2% or so reduction and you're going up to 7% reduction. So an average of probably 4% reduction in FTP puts this at, for me, 405 watts or so <clears throat> for an hour and 15 minutes and then the the temperature has got to account for something so it's probably closer to 410 415 watts um for for an hour and 15 minutes which i weighed in at 73 kilograms this morning if i did it at sea level in perfect conditions of course so you divide that in by 73 <clears throat> I mean, it's like holding approximately 5.7 watts per kilogram for an hour and 15 minutes. I just don't think I have the ability to go much harder than that. So I'm going to put this to bed now. Um, it's, it was, it's been fun. It's been a great challenge. It's kept me up at night, thinking about it, stewing upon it. And so if there's any moral to this story, um, I think it's find something that you don't know if you can do, because I really didn't know. I knew when I did the first one, that first video a while ago, I looked at the time, Phil's time here, 118.30, and I said, you know what, I think, I think on a good day I can do that, I can beat that. Whereas this 115.40, um, like I said, I failed at it two weeks ago, and so I definitely was scratching my head, because I went hard that time. <clears throat> I was definitely scratching my head saying, I don't know if I can do that. And so that's kind of fun. It's fun to do things that you start and you're like, I could fail at this. And and then of course, when you have the, the fortune, the good fortune of coming out on the other end and saying, oh, actually I could do it. I mean, that's obviously deeply, deeply satisfying. Um, but I think the, the interesting part of the whole thing is doing an activity that you're unsure if you can do. And so I think if there's anything you take from this, it's. Go find the joy of doing an activity that you're unsure you can complete and, and, and taste what it is on the other side. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks, Sam, for a lot of fun. Uh, please don't get on an airplane and come back here. At least let me keep this for like 
um, two months, please.